Good afternoon, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 3.0, and today is day 62. So, super exciting new piece in KW Command, and that is a design, a new design format, and that's video, and a new design template, and that's a neighborhood data, a hyperlocal neighborhood data template. So, let me show you more about that. We're going to come down to the ninth applet on the left hand side. We're going to jump into designs. So once I click on designs, I'm gonna get the option to create designs, right? So let me come up to the top here. I'm gonna click on video, and then I'm going to click on the plus sign. Okay, you gotta click on video first before you click on the plus sign. Right now, there's not an icon here. I think that soon there'll be an icon for video, and you'll be able to click on it before you click on video here. But for right now, the workaround is to click on video at the top and then bypass all four of these and click on next you'll see then that you have the ability to create this neighborhood video it's going to say what neighborhood do you want to utilize so let me just do cinco ranch greenway village as i do that it's going to start searching right for a neighborhood that matches now this is probably going to be a neighborhood that is listed in next door because we know that that's where we're pulling our snap data so i can go ahead and click on cinco ranch greenway village that being said from there, I have a lot of editing capabilities. So if the neighborhood's name is not actually Cinco Ranch Greenway Village, I can come in here and change the name of the neighborhood. I can actually come in and change all of the data that was pulled from the snap. So we know that a lot of times this neighbor, this data is really on point and occasionally it's a little off. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I pulled a CMA within my um, local MLS here and this data is really close but it's a little off and I'm a high C so I'm going to go ahead and update it so it's actually 333 147 as of today prices are on the rise and how I figured that out is I did a CMA for Cinco Ranch Greenway Village for the last six months and then I did it for the six months prior to that and then the six months prior to that and I can see over the last 18 months that prices are on the rise the same holds true for the average price per square foot. Those are on the rise, so I'm gonna change that. And this is actually 109.90. So let me go ahead and change the average price per square foot. And I can say that those prices are rising. There's actually nine homes available right now for sale. And the average days on market is 69. So you can see you can come through and edit any of these. Now the neighborhood features, these are being pulled from a company called spatial.ai. Uh, based upon thousands, probably hundreds of thousands of data points from each one of those neighborhoods. However, if I'm not a fan of the ones that are being pulled and I know the neighborhood well, I could come in and change these. So maybe if I'm like, uh, maybe not in yoga culture, let me see what else is in here. I can actually go through the entire list, All right? And I do know that neighborhood well, I'm pretty sure they have a couple of dog parks and several walking trails. So let me go ahead and choose dog lovers. And that's what I could go with there. Next, you're going to come down to agent information. If you have not previously created a video, for most of you, this will be the first time you're doing it. You'll want to upload your headshot. And then you're going to come in and add your first and last name, your job title, your email, and your phone number. Um, beware on the job title. If it's too long, it's going to wrap to a second line of text on the video, and it looks a little wonky. You may see that in a second. I don't think this wraps to the second line, but we'll take a look at it. I'll show you when we get to the video portion what that looks like. Next, I'm gonna click on Market Center and Brokerage Information. You do need to update your DBA logo the first time you create this video. From there on, it'll actually save for you. And you are gonna to need to input your license number and your brokerage license number, right? The first time that you create the video as well. And from there, it should save it. So if I click on Next, it's gonna start generating the video. And I've seen based upon your internet speed, that may take more than 10 seconds. It may be even faster than that. Um, and so, you know, we'll go ahead and just let this start processing. In a second, it'll say that it has been created. And then we'll actually have the ability to play the video and kind of watch it. If you don't like what it looks like, you can always click on the back button and then edit the information. So uh, my internet speed is not the highest right now, unfortunately, but let me click on play and see if it'll buffer and actually play the video for us. It may only get through a portion of it. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, it looks like it's kind of buffering slow. So my apologies there, guys. But um, the video is going to go through and basically it's going to show the consumer all of the data that you just inputted. 
So what's the average sales price, price per square foot? What's the um, average days on market? Are prices rising, steady, declining? Um, and kind of going from there. So you'll be able to see, depending on your internet speed, how long it takes to actually load this video in. Um, and then you can watch it, make sure it looks good. If it doesn't look good, click on pause so that doesn't overwhelm. You can always click on come back and edit the content and then hit it again and it'll save. It just wants to keep playing there. So I'm gonna click on save. And then you can now see here's my template that I've created, Cinco Ranch Greenway Village. Here's the cool part. If I click on these three little dots, I have several options. So I can download this video and actually save it to my hard drive. However, if I click on use in campaigns, it's gonna immediately take me into a social ad campaign. It names a social ad campaign based upon the neighborhood. It gives the goal as other, because this is really neighborhood video. I can say I wanna run it on Facebook or even Twitter or Instagram, but let's just say Facebook. I can click on setup campaign and it's automatically, here you go, here's the video already embedded for you. All you have to do is put in the ad text, headline and description. The ad media has already been configured. You'll come into Facebook ad and kind of decide whether you, what you wanna do within the ad. We've done videos on this before, but the cool thing is that it automatically embedded that video into your paid ad. In addition, so let me close this one out. This was the page that we were on originally. I can click on those three little dots and I can click on share on social. So if I do that, it takes me into campaigns and yet it's taking me into the social posts instead of the social paid ads. But here's our video already embedded and I can come in and this doesn't cost me anything to do this. I can come in and write my post and then I can say, do I want to schedule it or do I want to publish it immediately? So you can immediately start publishing and you could do a whole series. If you had 20 neighborhoods you wanted to talk about, maybe do one every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or two every Tuesday morning or something along those lines. So you can see it's very convenient and very easy. I don't have to download or upload. I literally just click on the dots and it allows me to bring that video into campaigns or share it on social. I can also rename this if for any reason I wanted to rename it, I might put in I don't know, 2, 12, 20, so that in the future, if I wanna do another one, maybe I do an update to it, um, then I can have that first one and then the update as well. So again, one more time, in order to create this design, it's pretty important that you click on video first. If you click on the plus sign, you're not gonna get video as an option and you can't go to next, okay? So just one small thing there, you gotta click on video, then click on plus, and then click on next. It'll take you in, you start searching for that neighborhood. So I could do Fawn Lake this time, All right? Which is Fawn Lake, Pine Lakes. And I could choose that neighborhood, which is my current neighborhood. Click on next, it'll pull that data. If I want, I can roll with the data that was pulled in or I can pull my CMA and edit anything that I want. And then you can see the neighborhood features. The cool thing is that now that I put my agent information in one time, it automatically populates and the same thing happens with my market center brokerage information. And it's that quick, guys. That's how quickly you can create a second, a third, or fourth, however many videos that you wanted to create. So excellent work, guys, on uh, the KWRI and Labs team for making this really simple and really easy for us to now share with people in our, whether it's our neighborhood group, publicly on Facebook, Instagram, wherever we're going to share these videos. So. That's it for today's challenge. I hope everyone's having a fantastic afternoon. And as always, I will look forward to talking to you again real soon. Thanks so much, guys.